but there are many, many, many bad and evil husbands that abuse. That's why as a woman, you cannot afford to be in an entity. Looking onto your husband before you buy bra. These are the things that remove dignity from a woman. The man helped you to bury your grandmother's father's son. He helped you to do wedding for your cousin's father's friend's brother. Everything. One day he's going to be tired. Do not allow your husband alone to pay the school fees. Contribute no matter how small. Do something with your life. As a woman. You were created to add value. Think. And do something. I told the singles yesterday, I have published by God's grace 81 books. My books are on Amazon. Money comes to my account every month. Bank of America. I add value to my marriage. My husband looked at me recently and said, I want to be married to you eternally. I wish Jesus would just come and say, everybody that is married, remain married. I said to him, I know Jesus won't say that, but when Jesus comes, I'm going to say, excuse me, sir, I have a suggestion. Let my husband's mansion be the closest to my own. If I don't add value to him, he wouldn't have said that. Stop being a beggarly wife. You're a believer. On your inside is the power that made the heavens and the earth. Do something. Everybody's looking. Even your children are watching. Your in-laws are watching. Don't be a drag. Don't be a liability. Be sound spiritually. Take care of your spirit man. But be sound also in every area of your life. I'll share some personal stories with you tomorrow. Things I'm not ashamed to tell you. To inspire you. And tell you that it's never too late to start or to change as a woman. Some of you think you are spiritual, but you are only religious. And there's a wall of difference between the two. And some husbands are in pain and they cannot talk because they are pastors. Some of them cannot talk because they are elders. They will punish them. They will, they will suspend them if they go into adultery. But some of them are really wishing that their wives will die and go to heaven. Oh God, just take my wife. Because you are giving the man pain. You're not adding value to him. If your husband's life does not appreciate after marriage, you are a witch. Therefore, shall a man leave five letter words and cleave six letter words? The part of the justice has a shining light. It shines more and more. And some of you, you are time bombs. On your inside, you are loaded. There are books on your inside. I preach in Paris every year. The, part of the biggest Pentecostal church there. Sometimes, beloved, the books I sell are more than the honorarium they give me. And I'll be praying, Father, make seeing eyes blind. As I carry this money through insecurity. Because I have orphans and widows waiting for me. What you will eat is inside of you. Be victorious in that area. Some of you are just sitting down. Popping out children. Sitting down. Doing nothing. Think. Write that book. Nobody is reading big, big books anymore. Small, small books. Write. Mathematics simplified. Cookery simplified. It will shock you. Put it on Amazon. Put it on eBay. It will shock you. How much? I still got a lot today on my American accounts. Books. There is something it does to you. When you fulfill purpose, it gives you confidence. You are not proud, but you know you have confidence. It's the way your husband treats you if you add value to him. No man wants a liability in his life. He has enough to battle at work. He wants a think tank. A woman that can operate at the same frequency of his brain. Wake up, women. Some of you think, when your mama said, victorious sisters, you will think what we are coming to do this weekend is bind the devil. So that we have been binding the devil, binding him, binding him. Now let's bind ignorance. <laughs> the devil is in a state of coma. Uh-uh. What are we talking about? You see that powerful? We've bound him, we're still binding him. But there are some things that we need to tell ourselves as women. Buckle up. Stand up and take your place as a woman. In case you don't know, the number of children you have is the number of properties you should have. 
so that they will not curse your memory. Maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. Some of you, you are wearing as gold the cement you should have used to buy a house. Because you just want to dress like Mrs. Adegoke. And you don't know her story. Her husband was talking to us yesterday. I've hugged in this life. As a pastor's wife, when the ministry first started, Muslim and I, we vowed to God that we will not touch the offering. And we still do not touch the offering. That's why I laugh when some people write some things on the internet because you don't understand what is going on in every church. It's not every pastor that is still in you know. I don't know the color of our offering. I don't know. It's not my business. And I am one of the people that give most in that ministry. Most. I am before the God of the heavens and the earth. Which offering are we stealing? Let them tell you how much is there. You too, you know how much you gave us offering. <laughs> you know now. It's just that the church is a mystery. That the gates of hell cannot prevail. One thousand naira God breathes on it and then you see us use it to do many things. It's just a mystery. It is the church of God. Like Baba will say, it's not um, the church of Adibu. He said, that's why God said it's the church of God. It's a mystery. So we are, we are bound the devil, we are binding the devil. But let's bind ignorance. Let's do something. Some of you, you know what you can do with your life. And be victorious financially, spiritually, economically, maritally, in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, by the next time I see you, God will have multiplied you. <laughs> <laughs>